Hey, this is Sabrina, lead trainer for Balan Brands. And today I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of how to navigate your brew. So when you initially get your brew, um, you're gonna notice that you have quite a few different elements on your homepage. Now these are gonna be custom to you. Um, each person's brew looks a little bit different depending on what features you wanted and what um, areas you wanted them in. So um, it may not look exactly like the one that you're looking at right now, but it should be fairly similar. So once you're on your brew, you're gonna notice that you have at the top um, a secondary menu bar. This typically has your contact information, team information, phone number, and social media accounts. Then you're gonna have your main menu bar here. Um, there should be a few different elements right up at the top here um, based on what we put on your brew by default. These typically link to um, buyer blogs, seller blogs, market report information, that kind of stuff. And then if you scroll down, you're gonna have this little bar here um, where your visitors can search for homes or estimate their home value. Then you're gonna have different options here on your homepage, and this is where it kind of um, varies based on how your brew was set up initially. But you're gonna have different elements such as buttons to browse different pages on your website. Um, you may have a certain area showcasing homes for sale. Uh, we typically have a section for reviews if you gave us reviews initially. If not, it's a very simple area to add. You should have a featured location section by default. Usually this comes with three, and these take you to a showcase page on your website showcasing homes for sale in that specific community with a table at the top to browse by price, possibly other features as well, depending on which brew package you chose by default. You also have an option to view all locations, and this will take you to your main locations page, which typically has an option in your menu bar at the top as well. And with this one, um, typically you can browse by city. If you have multiple categories already, you can choose to also browse by these other features too. And as you build out your showcase pages, you'll see, um, you'll notice that there's more options from here too. You should have a contact us section or a get to know your team section. Um, we do usually have a featured articles and posts section as well. Again, this typically has three by default and can always easily be adjusted. We do have a cool call to action section here. Um, this may or may not be on your brew by default, but it is very easy to add. And then you will have at the bottom your footer options. So um, this gives you the option to search your website. Um, so when visitors browse, they can search for specific topics or articles. And then these will also vary based on your website. Um, you have your contact information, your branding, and all that information down at the bottom here. So that's kind of a quick overview of your homepage. So now what we're gonna do is go into the back. So to log into your brew, you're gonna type in your, um, your website address forward slash wp-admin. This is going to require you to log in, and then once logged in, it will take you to your dashboard, which is this page here. Now to navigate your dashboard, it's fairly simple. Um, you primarily just need to focus on the left-hand side here. Um, so from the left, just kind of working our way down. And again, some of these features may be available on your brew, some of them may not. Um, this is a website we've had for a while, so you may see some additional options in here that may not be on your brew at the moment. And then as you have your brew longer, you may see some additional elements pop up based on updates and features that get added later on. Which with your brew, um, theme updates are free, so when an update is available, you should be able to just pop right in and update your theme um, from in here. So on the left side, you have your posts to add new blogs, media to manage your, um, your pictures primarily, but you can also add other media elements like PDFs and things like that. You have your pages, your options to edit all your pages. Um, I'm just gonna skip past some of these because they're not there by default or they're not really relevant to getting started with your brew. Um, you do have your brew section here. This allows you to edit any header footer scripts you want to add in here, update your company details. Um, those are going to be the biggest ones that you'll mess with in this section. The rest of them are pretty much for, um, for settings and developers. There's an our team section where you can edit your team members. Um, you also have reviews where you can add and edit reviews. Showcases is where you edit your locations and your homes for sale pages. 
Your appearance allows you to add and adjust your menus, your widgets, like what appears in your footers. Um, those are going to be the main things that you're going to do there. If you need to update your theme, you'll do so right here in this theme section. Plugins allows you to add um, and manage current plugins that you have installed, or like I said, to add new plugins. Um, plugins are really cool. Uh, they're kind of things that you download onto your website if you're, if you're not familiar with a plugin. You add them to your website and they typically enhance your website with a certain um, cool feature or integration. So there's plugins to add calendars to your websites um, if you want to showcase certain events for your visitors. Um, there's plugins that add cool short codes um, to your blog post to add nice dividers and buttons and things like that. So there's plugins for a lot of stuff. Think of it like um, like when Apple came out with the there's an app for that. Um, there's a plugin for that for your website. <laughs> um, those are going to be the main things that you're going to pretty much edit on here. Um, other than that, everything else is kind of as on an as needed basis. It's not usually something that you would normally go in and mess with. Um, and that's pretty much it. That is, that is just kind of getting a basic overview of your brew. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at team at And we have tons of training videos on our YouTube channel. So if you head over to youtube.com slash Lori Ballen, you'll be able to see our whole channel and you can subscribe to stay up to date on the latest for online marketing and receive updates on your brew because um, we do trainings on brew all the time, especially when there are new updates. Um, again, contact us if you have any questions and thanks for watching.